What's up everyone? So I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube logo for free. So let's get into it. So you're going to want to go to Google. You're going to want to type in placeit.net. Go to that. So you can just type in your YouTube name here. I will use Argue Slayer. That is my, uh, my gamer tag. Go to gaming. Let's go. So it's going to bring up all these designs right here. You can actually go here and choose whatever design you like the best. Uh, I'll just pick a random one for example. Let's see what's popping up here. Let's get a better one than that. How about that? Let's go for this one. So it does take a second to load. Let's see. So let's say I like this one. You can edit the entire logo on this page as well, but there is a watermark and it will not let you download it, but I'll show you what to do with that. So say we like this one. Let's make the background black. Say we don't want this battle right here, so we can just delete that. Should just take a second. Yes, so it's going to bring up this. So we want to make the words red. And if the words are red, let's change the color also to red. Awesome. Let's change this to white. How does it look? Say I like this one. Awesome. So once you have this done and you like what you did, you're going to want to go to Photoshop. Just download the free trial here and then you can unsubscribe after the seven days. So if you try and download it, it won't let you. That's why the watermark's here. So you want to go, if you have Windows, you want to click Control Shift S, I believe it is. Let's go here. Type in screenshot snipping tool. How to use the snipping tool, try and snip. Logo key, shift S, okay, that's my bad. Key shift S, boom, so it'll bring up this. So we can get rid of that, get rid of that. So the Windows button, shift S, go here and just snip it out. So I'm going to click on that. You can save it to, uh, I have actually mine on my desktop with all my pictures. Click save. So we can just exit out of that and then go into Photoshop. So once you're in Photoshop, you want to go to file, new, keep this to 1920 by 1080. and then you want it on pixels. So go to create. It should pop up the screen here. So once you are here, go to file, place linked, and I want to place the one I did. So drag that up in the corner, expand it, and then place it in the middle. Awesome. So once you are here, you can look around. You want to keep it on this. And then you can go to B. So you want to go to here. Click on the color you want. It'll switch around. Say I want the red. It'll go to the red. Black. Boom. So we want to do the black part. Okay. So we are on brush right now. See how there's that tiny thing? And I can just cover over that. So nobody wants to work with this tiny circle. That would just be awful. Okay, so you want to go beside your P button. There's the bracket type things. One to the beside the P to the right and two to the right. So you can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. So I want to make it nice and big to get rid of this black part. It doesn't matter if you go on along the sides. You can fix that after. 
So I'm just doing a quick draft kind of to show you guys how I'm doing this. Awesome. Let's just get that all over there. Ooh, edit, undo brush. Screwed up there, guys. Okay. Does take a little bit, but once you are done, it is free and it looks amazing. Okay. So say I want to work on the sides a little bit more because you can see place it, you can do that. So I'll make the circle smaller. What you actually want to do is go to here, the magnifying glass. You can go out and zoom in. So I'll zoom in, zoom in, and then I'll go and press B again for the brush. You can mess with it. Get right up in there. And work on it. So then again, it does say place it in here, so we will go to this color, the top one, not the bottom. Uh, I'm not too sure what the bottom one does actually, and just click that color, click OK. Make that a little bit bigger or smaller, and you can fix it. Let's go here again, boom, boom, let's make that bigger, so I'm just going to do a quick one for you guys, kind of show you how to do it, and you can press space bar and drag it along. Kind of fix it. I will be leaving the links to both of these, the Photoshop and the Place It page in the description below. So you can check that out. But uh, no, when you finish this, it does look amazing. Go here, here, boom, okay. Let's raise that tool up. Let's go down the sides, fix that. Base bar. Let's black it all out. Mess with this color a little bit. So I did use this app to make mine on my page currently instead of paying somebody $60 or whatever to make you a banner. Uh, I am going to do more YouTube videos on how to make a YouTube banner as well and how to put your logo inside the banner. So if you do screw up, you can go edit, undo brush, and it will fix it. So say I am all done. I like it how it is. I'll fix this real quick. Awesome. So say I'm all done. I'll go here to the zoom tool. I will zoom out. Drag it down. Zoom in one. So I like it how it is. So you can go to File, Save As, and save it on your computer. But what I like doing 
is instead of trimming the sides because you can trim the sides with the border uh, you can just go again Windows button shift s it'll save it go boom click it save right at the same spot exit and you can go in your pictures go to that and there is the finished product and then you can just take that go into YouTube and upload it awesome guys well I appreciate you watching this video I hope this did help you a bunch and uh, if this did help you please leave a like and subscribe and I'll be waiting for the next video to do my banner and show you guys how to do that as well awesome thank you guys and have a great day